all this is custom place. It looks awesome. It's giving the feel of a, of a blacksmith vibe. This is my counter where I can peddle my wares. Oh, well, my, my tits and junk are not wares, but... going on again nerd paraders thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today we're playing some more arc primal and my beard is so manly that it's sticking right through my helmet because i'm full-on dwarf mode we're advancing quite far in uh in arc primal i'm really excited to bring this episode to you guys today because we've been working quite hard on the oasis we've been working so hard on it that it doesn't even look like the oasis anymore we're calling it new oasis because of all the things that have been done with it now I left quite a bit of this, full disclosure, off of cam because most of it was rather tedious and boring and it took us quite some time to farm up the materials to actually do this. So you're going to see a big change from where we were from last time, but before we get into it anymore, I'm not going to blow the surprise. Introductions are in order. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for coming to hang. If this is your first episode of Arc Primal ever, you picked a really interesting one to make your first because we've totally changed our village into a town welcome again to the channel guys thank you so much for coming hang without further ado let's pop this sucker off boom this is the oasis now that's why we're calling it new oasis because it doesn't even look like there was ever an oasis here now what i was talking about earlier the the tedious boring part is this stuff so we sp sploop <laughs> we spec into builder and with Builder, we were able to make these foundations, these pavers, that we've used to completely transform the area that we were in. If you're familiar with the Oasis, not a lot of it as is flat. It's quite upsies and downsies. We needed to create this flat terrain area to turn our village into a town. And that's what we've done. So I'm very excited to show off to you guys the new Oasis, new Nertopia, and showcase how it's really transformed as well as doing a little bit of building here today so this is the oasis this is the source of all that is our the life in our village i need to get some water here we transformed the entire thing just into this kind of this roman bath-esque structure the central focal point of our village the well and everything is going to be built around it i'm really really excited about it we've even done gone so far as to change with these blocks we're getting super roleplay on this. I'm having so much fun with the roleplay. I can't even tell you. With these blocks, you can change the top. Of, so we're going to change this to, uh, I believe this is, I think this is Octostone. So we're going to change it to Cobblestone. Ah, there's Cobblestone. So we're going to change the top of the paver back to Octostone. I think that was Octostone. Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, change top of paver, uh, maybe Cobble Bricks. Yeah, it's Cobble Bricks. So we even gave it to... Uh, a uh, weathered look like this has been water damaged so here's our standard bricks for the base part of our village and then water damage i'm so like it's just blowing my mind it's so freaking cool everything looks beautiful masonry has been amazing builder and a mace and masonry has been amazing in conjunction together we've transformed this entire place to look like the makings of a town and the reason why we left so much of this out is because of this building here. Bum, 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 bum. This big ass cathedral looking turd is the bottleneck of your advancement. So you can go from primitive thatch structures, primitive thatch villagery, to nice, cool looking cottages with deeds. And in order to get deeds, you have to make this structure here, the capital building. Now, there's two types of capital buildings there's a small one. And a large one. This here is the large one because, you know, no such thing as overkill in the Nerd Parade vocabulary. We go big or we go home. We saved up for the large capital building. Dropped this sucker down. Got a beautiful little statue here to make it even more cathedral looking. And we're going to pop inside. This is what it looks like inside. This is a, like a pre-decorated type of structure. The other houses are not. So we're going to be getting into all of that. I'm super excited to do it with you guys here today. That sounds a little weird out of context, but that's fine. We're going to gloss right over it. This is what this looks like inside here, and it has unlocked the potential for us to do more builds in the community. So we've got a lot of frameworks down. These are unbuilt structures for the cottage-looking tier. The, the town tier is what I like to affectionately refer to it as, because village tier is more along the lines of the thatch huts that we've been working with. 
Now we're advancing to a town and things are coming along really, really well. The first building that we put down and made was the blacksmith's quarters. I'm really excited about this because we built it kind of how I was imagining into the stone. So it makes it look like we built this place out of the, the landscape. I'm really liking it. It's giving off super dwarven vibes. I'm very digging it. We've even got a little market area with some trading stalls here so people can come and peddle their wares. The roleplay aspect is off the, off the hook with this mod, and I couldn't be more excited to really delve into it. So before I go into that, I need to show you guys something so you can wrap your head around what has actually happened with the village. So that's the first village building that we made back there. I'm pointing to the blacksmith. Here is just a standard hut. This is a standard cottage. You look inside, pretty plain, right? Okay, remember that, because it's going to come into play. We're going to go into here. We're going to show off the blacksmith, the very first house built in our, in our new town. And we're going to get into it. It's even got a nice little sign there. Tables outside. We're pooping on the ground. Uh, it's got stones. None of this is here. This all has to be, like, custom hand-decorated. It's so, I, I can't wait to show you inside. We've got some more out here. None of this is here. All custom hand decorated, all dropped to make it look like an actual blacksmithery. So we're going, we're going to go in the side door. This is our working corner. Bum, 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 bum. All this is custom place. It looks awesome. It's giving the feel of a, of a blacksmith vibe. This is my counter where I can peddle my wares. Oh, well, my, my tits and junk are not wares, but what can I get you? I got to talk in my... My dwarven gruff voice. What can I make for you? I'm making swords for the tribe, making tools for the tribe. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. This is something that I've been so super excited to show off, but we've been kind of grinding for it. So it it isn't a transition that happened overnight. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of these kind of roleplay-esque builds on camera here in videos to come, but for the first one, we weren't really sure how it was going to go, so we needed a bit of a trial and error type thing, and this took us quite a while to do, but I'm looking forward to doing more on here. Since blacksmithing requires tailoring, and we can't let our customers see that there's a softer side to our blacksmith hearts, all of our tailoring and seam, uh, seam working ways are moved up to the top por portion of the, uh, the house, the attic, where the bed is, I can sleep here. This is, this is my town. This is my, uh, this is my area. I'm even listed as uh, Nick the Blacksmith in the tribe. You're, you pick your profession in your tribe ranking so people know that I'm the blacksmith guy. I've, I've been so jazzed to show this off to you. I love the way that this is looking. I love the RP, the PvE, with this mod, the, the possibilities. Oh, it is just absolutely amazing. We've got our forge area that we built here in the back with some chopping stations. You know, just, we need the wood to power the forge. And we've got some more storage and other things. It's all for the looks. It's all for looking absolutely amazing and aesthetically pleasing. And OCD friendly. Something that I feel like everybody has that plays Ark or any type of survival builder game to at least a small degree. Mine is a huge degree. I love seeing aesthetically pleasing builds, but everybody has this to at least a small degree. We left a spot open. I'm transitioning just into other topics here really quickly, by the way. We left a spot open because in here, in the alcove, we want two things. The blacksmith, of course, it makes sense. You have to have that here, but also... A mason belongs here. We need a masonry here in New in New Oasis, and we're gonna put one down. I've got the stuff here with me today. Uh, I oh, I forgot to get the house. The house was still crafting while I started the episode. So before we go to there, we're gonna show off some more of the buildings and some more of the things that we're working on. This has the potential to be something. Uh, it could be this is like maybe mill like. It could be like the lumber mill. It looks very milly, and this is the poo hut apparently where. Fertilizer is made for the farm. So we've got <laughs> a lot of uh, compost bins and things in this area. I didn't decorate this one. It looks really, really good. I love how it's coming together. I like how people are really embracing the aesthetic pleasingness of this of this mod. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to gamma down because we gamma it up. It was early in the morning. The sun had just risen. So things were a little dark. We needed to be able to see. This entire area is convenience meets beautiful meets functionality kind of thing so here we have two pieces of foundation missing two foundations that are currently missing and we've got some clay troughs here you can also stand in this area to get sand on this side and mud on the right side 
We found a split area where it was divided by two foundations and we took total advantage of it. So if we just use our buckets here, we can get the resources that we need. And this sh should be getting clay, or it will get clay if we put the stuff in there for it. There is a bunch of frames. People are starting to set down where they want their houses. All the old stuff has been completely demolished. Everything from the other videos has uh, been completely removed because we're starting to advance. We're moving to village tier. And I'm going to build something here with you today. The Mason. Now this is being crafted up over here. And before we get there, I love this. This, the way the foundation is placed, how it looks like it seamlessly transitions from the ground to where we put the, the pavers, the the bricks, like the mason has been in full effect. It's just, it's kind of blowing me away. I'm so excited for this. I couldn't be more excited. I love the way this is shaping out. I like the under area here that we did with the ramp. Everything is just super, super awesome. Upstairs, I'm just, I'm kind of gushing with this. I'm so excited for it. Upstairs is going to be the common area. So we've got the Capitol building. There's going to be a jail up there. And there's going to be like a, a market and a tavern. A tavern's going to be up there as well. So if anybody comes to visit New Oasis, these things are going to be up on this area, kind of overlooking. Eventually, when we can, and when we do get to the time to make a castle, it's going up on that rock over there. It's going to be overlooking New Oasis. And that area is pretty flat. We should be able to do something similar with what we did here with the... Uh, the pavers. And we need to jump into our well because I'm getting thirsty. I'm going off the high dive. I took a lot of pleasure in that. I'm not going to lie to you. And we're going to get the house that we were crafting for our mason. I'm going to show you the process of actually building the cottage. And it's pretty extensive. So it's it's just exciting. It's just really exciting. It's, so, it's more extensive than building the thatch type of buildings. A lot more extensive. Okay, so we should be getting our remote inventory. And all the way at the bottom, the hut should be ready. Ah, here it is. Boom. Hut ready. I'm actually going to stick you on my hotbar. I'll get rid of some of these foundations. And we're going to go back to place. The thatch buildings are very forgiving. And easy to craft. Extremely easy to craft and build up. These houses are not. They require a lot more attention. They require more attention to detail. It is definitely a progression halter. You have to work for this type of thing. And it's it's a good feeling once you get it. Now, let's see. What, what do we want to do with this? The box here is the door. So this thing that I'm looking at, if you could see the box outline, just slightly where I'm pointing here, that's where the main entrance to this is. That's where the door is. This is a long building. And we could do sideways. We could do angled. I could even make it so that it's like facing slightly this way. I feel like that's going to be a door in the back as well. So why don't we do this? Why don't we kind of make it? Why don't we kind of make it facing the back here? So that we can put more forges and masonry stuff out there that way. Okay, I think I'm pretty good with that. This is where the main entrance is going to be. I'm thinking there's going to be a door here as well as a door here. I'm thinking. If not, it's not going to be the end of the world to break this down, but it will be slightly annoying. I'm going to pick this back up because I didn't line it up properly. Okay, we got it back in our inventory. I need to line it up with the pavers. And I can go to K-Mode for it. I just want to make sure it's good here. Ah, screw it. I'm going to go to K-Mode anyway. All right, let's zoom it out. Rotate it around. Rotate it around this way if I can. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's way off. Whole way off. Let's get out of K-Mode. Let's rotate this way. Z zoop it back there. Oh, now it's even more. Okay. Just ever so slightly. The OCD build struggles. You know what I'm saying. You feel it. Everybody feels it. Oh, I just need to rotate a little bit more. Just like an inch. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. Ish. That's probably about as perfect as that's going to get. Okay, let's back this up. You know, let's scoot it forward, actually. We could build a little bit of the rock, but I'm not too worried about that. Boom. I think that's going to be it. That's going to be our, our mason. That's lined up. That's pretty perfectly lined up. And we could do masonry stuff, masonry tables, stuff like that in the back. 
I'm excited for this cottage. We picked the one that looked very similar to the blacksmith hut. And I also want to leave this pathway through here. So we can build some stuff here. Make this kind of a little cut through. I'm happy with this. Okay. Now time to make layers. Uh, let me in you. I think I interact with a box, actually. That's probably the best way to do it. We need stacks of building materials. I need to get uh, planks or... Uh, let's see. Stacks of bricks... Or barrels or plaster in order to do that so we can do some of that build that layer okay that later layer is done oh good built more building material <laughs> i can't even words i'm too excited more building materials now we need wooden window frames and wooden window screens we've got some of those we've got the frames build that layer okay now we need stairs and more resources we've got more resources and there's my stairs build the layer Window frames. Okay, good. We got the stuff. Boom. And last but not least, shingles. Boom. Okay. More resources. There it is. Boop -a boom. That was a lot of layers and a lot of stages. A lot of layers and a lot of stages. Way more serious than the previous tier. But we did it. We've got a house here. Um... It's Mason-esque. Oh, I see what it did. All right, this isn't terrible. It looks like something a Mason would live in. And we've got access to the back. This this is all right. This is all right. It clips into the top. I got to make sure that it doesn't overclip. All right, we can put a sign right there on the door. I hope it doesn't overclip into the top part. Ah, oh, it does. No, it does. We're going to have to bust it down. We're going to have to bust this puppy down. These are the struggles that we have. Skapluter. Okay, we jump into the water. I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I didn't think that was going to be that tall. We'll pull this guy out and put him somewhere else. But this is not a bad building. There's a, This is not a bad building. There's a ton of buildings to choose from. And we're going to go look at them here really quickly. So it's, unless you know what they really look like, you have to eyeball it a little bit. <laughs> so that one was kind of an experiment. Now you now you see why we didn't do everything immediately on cam. Because we're in a couple of situations like that. We wanted to do a couple of trial things before we got into really building the village. So we're going to have to work on that one in the future. So we, that's a bank. Uh, you know what? I could just do this. Cut. So we have quite a few to choose from. 18 is what we just made. We made cottage 18. Uh, that's cottage 11. You can kind of see what they look like from the picture, but you really have to zoom in IRL. That is a tall one. That also looks like a tall one. This, you know what? Maybe I could work this one out. Cottage 11. Cottage 21 is too small. That's probably way too tall. Cottage 17 looks interesting. Cottage 15 is really, really big. Okay, let's go with Cottage 11. We're going to try that one out. So Cottage 11 requires 40 lumber and 70 stone bricks. Let's go to Rip's house, which is where we're storing most of our crap, and see if we can't rectify this terrible mistake. We're going to tear that puppy down and build a Cottage 11. Now, cottages take a really long time to craft, so it may not get placed in this episode, but we are going to try to do the best that we can to get as close as we can to it. Uh, we have lumber in one of these. Oh yeah, here we go. Stone bricks. And lumber, lumber, lumber. Maybe this one. Yeah, here's the lumber. I'm just going to take a bunch so that we can craft it up. We'll stick it in this crafting table right here. Okay, and we should have... I'll just search 11. 11. There's cottage 11. Now we're going to let this craft up, and as you can see, super slowly. Takes forever to craft. While this is crafting up, we'll place that later. I'm going to put my level in. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with ham hands. I'm melee. I'm a blacksmith. We're going to slaughter creatures with my mighty sword. Feels good. Oh, I'm starting to get exhausted. I feel like I'm exhausted in like every episode. I always got to sleep. We're going to tear this, tear this plane down. It's far too big for that little corner. 
I hope you guys are really liking New Oasis. I am in love with the way things look here. I love the feudal feel. I really, I really, really like, uh, this hurts. I really, really like primitive style arc. I always thought and felt like you advanced way too quickly. Most times you start out in stone phase. You just skip past thatch and wood. I love the fact that we spent so long as a village before we could advance to a town. Okay, that thing is broken down. Don't mean to rhyme, just happens all the time. It's part of the shtick. But I think... Because I am Nick. Ha! Huh? Double rhyme! Okay, no, sorry. That one was a little cringy. I'm not sorry at all. Now we're going to see how far that's gone to crafting. But this is where I leave you, nerd prayers. Thank you so much for coming to visit New Oasis with us today. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Does it look beautiful? Are you really excited for it? How, do you, how are you liking Arc Primal? Let me know. I am excited. Before we go... We've got some outposts. Now this, I haven't shown off at all to you, but this is how we've sealed off the entrance and exit to the Oasis. Very primitive-esque looking outposts, and it's, it fits, oh, it, it fits so freaking well. I just, I had to show this off because I happened to notice it. The buildings are beautiful. It looks like someone would be like, halt, who goes there? I come to see the king, sir. Like it just, it just fits. It just fits so well. I love it. I'm so excited for Ark Primal. It's definitely revived a lot of my love for Ark. So I'm really excited to have this in in the game. Playing through this mod, it has been quite enjoyable for me. All right, we're about 25% of the way there. We're going to try to do more of this building in the next episode, but I hope you guys like this one. Smash the thumbs up button for me if you did. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any cool videos. Some more Ark Primal, some more Nurtopia, New Oasis. I've got many names for the town. But I always want you to remember to take care of yourselves out there, guys. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next ridiculous video. Later.